And good evening, everybody. Welcome inside Welland Stadium here in Welland. The Jackfish, game three on the season, 0-2 to start. A slow start for them, but they got their ace on the mound. Jake Hartford getting the start for Welland. It's Guelph in town. The Royals coming in at 1-1, one one, a 10-3 win over Hamilton. And they were defeated by Toronto. As we are moments away from first pitch, and the Jackfish line up as is. It'll be Mateo Porcelato getting the start at first base tonight. Tyler Dupuy lines up at second. Luis Jean at short and James Smybert at the hot corner in third base. It'll be Robinson, Morello, and Nicholson left to right in the outfield. And Sam Cocker, who's had quite the start to his season, behind the plate as well as Hartford gets set. As stepping into the box is Brando LaRue for Guelph and here is the first pitch from Hartford down the middle strike one talking to Brian Esri before the game he said one thing they want to do for Hartford and see from him is more strikes he struggled in his first start of the season with five walks so more strikes from Hartford and less pitches is what they're looking for here tonight as that one dips outside one and one on LaRue LaRue, the second baseman. As that one's cracked to right field, drifting his way over as Nicholson into foul territory, dives, and he can't come up with it. Nicholson all over that one, just out of his reach. And another life for LaRue, and a one and two count. Harford went three and two-thirds innings, and... Had eight strikeouts, but again, five walks. Was pulled. He had over 100 pitches. So, again, looking for a little more length. Or the tall righty here tonight. Here's the one, two, and that one's sent into center field. Morello lines it up. It's right at him, and he makes the catch. One down here in the first. Morello looked like he stutter stepped out there. That's Sun shining right down on him as the sunglasses on he was able to make the read and make the catch here's the left fielder Ethan Hammond stepping in for Guelph Hartford's pitch is high ball one The 0-1 pitch from Harford is right on the outside corner. One and one count. Harford had a really good first inning in the season opener. Three strikeouts. He struck out the side, but after that was downhill. Here comes the 1-1 from Harford. Swing and a miss, strike two. Losses to Hamilton and Kitchener to start the season for the Jackfish. Looking for a rebound here on their home turf. Here comes the one-two pitch from Hartford. And a little bit high, two and two back even is Hammond. Hammond playing left field here tonight for Guelph. The two-two delivery from Hartford and a swing and a miss, strike three, Hartford. His first strikeout of the evening as he gets Hammond swinging on a fastball. Two down in the top of the first.
So Hartford off to a good start here once again. And stepping into the batter's box will be Connor Morrow, the shortstop. And that one, it looked like a curveball slipped out of his hand and it hits Morrow on the shoulder, so he'll trot down to first base. As Hartford just lost control of that breaking ball. And it'll bring Tristan Pompey to the plate. Pompey, two RBIs early on in the season. As he's got a runner on first, two outs, takes strike one down the middle. Fastball gets ahead of him. Out of the slide step, and Hartford's delivery is outside. So one and one on Pompey. That one catches the knees, one and two on Pompey. Harford looking to get out of the top of the first, unscathed. Morrow takes his lead from first. Here comes the one-two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Pompey, swinging Harford a clean top of the first. Two strikeouts in the inning, bottom half of the first coming up next. When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind. And welcome back inside Welland Stadium. Alec Murray alongside with you for this one as the bottom half of the inning about to get underway as Gio Morello will lead things off for the Welland Jackfish. On the mound today for Guelph. The right-hander, Kyle Thomas, gets the start. Thomas won start. He went three innings, gave up two hits, two runs, had two strikeouts. 
One hit on the season. It came in the home opener, a bunt single. Down the third baseline. Here is the 1-1 one -one to Morello right down there for strike two. So Morello now in a one and two hole. Thomas gets his sign. Here comes the one two pitch from Thomas. It's tight. Ball two. Morello back even. Thomas gets his sign. Here it comes. And Morello fouls it straight back to the screen. Morello back into the box. Two and two count on him. Bottom of the first, still scoreless. Here comes the two. Two in tight. Ball three, full count on Morello. Nicholson on deck. Smybert in the hole. Smybert's been hot to start this season off. Morello swinging a miss on a fastball on the outside, and he strikes out one away. Morello in 10 at bats this season has four strikeouts. So once again, Morello looking to get things going early on in the season. Brian Essery said before this game, he said, not worried at all. This team's too talented to be worried. But an 0 2 start for the Jackfish as the first pitch to Nicholson draws high 1 0. Another good crowd on hand here at the pond tonight. The 1 0 pitch. Nicholson hammers one to left field. It is high, but it's going to be foul. Nicholson just early on that one. Nicholson batting 570 in the first two games. Four hits, three runs scored as the 1-1 delivery on the outside half. Strike two. It's been a lot of 2-3-4 here tonight for the Jackfish. Nicholson, Smybert, and Cocker. As he takes that one down low, evening the count two and two. Here comes Thomas's 2-2 two -two pitch. And Nicholson smacks one through the gap on the left side, a base hit. And Brandon Nicholson gets the party going for Welland. And Hilbert with Sam Cocker awaiting on deck. Kyle Thomas looks in. Smybert gets his lead and his first pitch swing and a miss. Strike one. Nicholson gets his lead off first. Smybert sends one up the gap. Diving effort. Can't get to it. All the way to third base will be Nicholson. Smybert now with a base hit and back-to-back -back knocks for the Jackfish. And that's going to bring up maybe the hottest guy in all of the land, Sam Cocker. What a game he had in Kitchener. Two home runs, six RBIs, all six RBIs for the Jackfish against the Panthers. And Cocker now with a man in scoring position, two on. And only one out, Jackfish threatening here in the bottom half of this first inning. Here comes the pitch to Cocker, taking all the way, strike one. Nicholson on third, Smybert on first, runners on the corners. Cocker off to an even 500 average here to start 2023. Thomas 0-1 pitch on the outside half, and strike two, 0-2. Now Cocker finds himself in a hole.
Thomas trying to get out of a jam early for Guelph. Gets his sign. Long pause. Here comes the 0-2. Cocker takes down and in. Ball one. Nicholson off third, Smybert off first. Thomas comes set. The one-two pitch to Cocker. Off to second base and holding and an easy stolen base for Smybert. So two now in scoring position. As Smybert moves up an extra 90 feet. Base knock would score two here for the Jackfish. Two and two to Cocker, here it comes. Cocker able to reach out and foul that one off into the berm in right field. So staying alive. Thomas. The 2-2, two -two and down low. They're going to check it down? No, he didn't. Full count. So Cocker, in an 0-2 holes, worked his way all the way back to a full count. And a big pitch coming here early on from Thomas. Bottom half of this first inning, Jackfish threatening. Thomas comes set. Here comes the 3-2 pitch. Cocker swings, and he sends one sky high on the third base. Drifting over the third baseman, he'll make the catch in a massive second out for Guelph. Now the shortstop, Luis Jean, in a big spot here for the Jackfish. Two men in scoring position, two away. Gene batting 250 in the early stages of this one. Looking for his first RBIs of the season. Great spot to come through here as here's the first pitch, and he did go around, strike one. Former Colorado Rocky prospect as Gene. Here comes the 0-1. Gene sends one up the middle. Base hit. Coming in to score is Nicholson. Smybert around third. He'll score, and it's a 2-0 Jackfish lead. Luis Gene, his first two RBIs with the Jackfish. And it's an early start for Wellen. So Thomas can't strand the runners. Gene comes through in a big spot for the Jackfish. And here's Porcelato drawing back into the lineup. Mateo Porcelato occupying first base here tonight. His first pitch, he swings and sends that one out of play. Dupuy awaits on deck. Six man to the plate already here in the first for Wellen. Gene off of first. Thought about it. Now here comes the pitch to Porcelato in there. Strike two. So Porcelato in an 0-2 hole. Here comes the pitch. Off is the runner. Gene to second. Another easy stolen base for the Jackfish. Their second of the inning. As Ash opts not to throw down on either steal attempt. Gene had a good jump, but no contest from Ash. On a 1-2 count on Porcelato, the speedster Gene now in scoring position. Here comes the 1-2. Porcelato takes a hack at it and just fouls it off down the left field line. He stays alive. Yeah. 
One, two on Portulato. Gene is lead off second. Portulato rips one up the middle. Base hit. Gene rounds third. He'll score. Portulato an RBI single. And Wellens off to the three nothing lead as Portulato in his first at bat rips one up the middle. So the stolen base from Gene comes in huge as the seventh man this inning. The Jack Fish will send to the plate, and we have an early conference on the mound as Kyle Thomas has been hit around here in the bottom half of this first inning. Second baseman Tyler Dupuis. So three singles in this inning. Bullpen still quiet for Guelph as Thomas struggling here early. Here's the St. Catharines native Tyler Dupuy hitting in the seven hole here tonight. Off goes the runner from first and he had a good jump but it's fouled back by Dupuy as Portolato was off for second base. Jackfish aggressive here early. The 0-1 pitch coming from Thomas. And it's high, ball one. So the 1-1. Portolato lead off first and a pickoff attempt back in safely. One one, Portolato off first as Dupuy bounces one down the third baseline. Nice pick, but they're going to say it's a foul ball. Barless made a nice pick down the third baseline. The home plate umpire right there to make the call, and Dupuy will trot back to home plate. So Kyle Thomas just trying to get out of this inning without any more damage. Off goes the runner, and it's fouled back once again by Dupuis. So two times, Portolato's tried to swipe second. Dupuis fouled it back. Maybe a little miscommunication. As Portolato jogs his way back to first base. Thirty-two pitches already for Kyle Thomas in this first inning. Just wants to get out of it. Portolato off for second again. Throw down, not in time. It's into center field. Portolato's going to stay at second. So the first time we see Ash throw down, not the prettiest throw, as Portolato able to swipe second base. The third stolen base already for the Jackfish here in the first inning. So another runner in scoring position, Dupuy, the 2-2 count. Thomas comes set, he gets his sign. Here it comes, and Dupuy, it's in the dirt, but he swung through it. Strike three, so Dupuy finally ends the inning. Thomas gets out of it, but nothing less. The Jackfish, three runs on the board, and a big hit from Luis Jean, a two RBI single, got the Jackfish going. As after one, the fish lead 3 nothing. To the second we go here in Welland.
When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind. So Noah Roberts leads things off for the Royals here in the top of the second. Down three, nothing. A great start on the bats for Welland as Hartford's back out there for his second inning of work. And first pitch is way outside, ball one. No average for Roberts yet this season. A Cambridge, Ontario native. The 1-0 pitch, here it comes to the plate. And down in, strike one. Harford, the 1-1 one, one pitch, fouled straight back to the screen, strike two. And after the home opener, Harford cruises through the first inning just like he did in the home opener, looking to get through a second inning here. Had trouble in the second and third innings in the season opener. And here's the 1-2 count. And that one, ground ball to first. Porcelato picks it up, and he'll take it to first base himself. One down here in the top of the second. So here's the DH, Mark Cicchetto. Wide stance for Cicchetto. Here's the first pitch. He sees in tight and able to duck out of the way. Ball one. Cicchetto 0 for 3 this season to start. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. Cicchetto unloads down the left field line, but it's foul. Got a hold of that one just a little bit too early. One and one count on the DH. Harford gets his side, the one one, and Chichetto ropes one down the first baseline, a fair ball. That one's gonna go all the way into the right field corner. Chichetto makes the turn from first, He'll stop at second with a double. And that ball just fair down the first base line. Ben Mercier, the first base umpire tonight, right there to make the call. And the first hit of the night is to Cicchetto. And he'll be in scoring position for the Royals. As Evan Ash steps in, the catcher. Back out of the stretches, Hartford, and Ash bounces one to second base. Dupuy picks it up. He'll throw to first, gets the out, advancing to third on the ground out is Cicchetto, two away. So here's the third baseman, Barless.
Barless 0 for 8 to start his 2023 season. Looking for his first knock of the year. And way outside, ball one from Harford. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. One and one now the count. On Barless. Another swing and a miss, so one and two now the count on Barless. Runner at third is Chichetto. Guelph looking to answer a three spot from well into the bottom half of the first. Here comes the one two pitch from Hartford, and it's fought off, and we'll do it again. Just able to throw the bat head out and get contact to stay alive. This Barless. Harford, long look in, a couple shakes, now gets his sign he wants. Here comes the one-two from Harford out of the stretch, and it's fouled straight back just over the broadcast booth. And once again, we'll do a one-two. The one-two once again from Harford, and it's popped up. Maybe a play. Cocker over, and Smybert there as well, but that one's up into the seats. So giving a good battle at the plate is Darius Parlis. Chichetto takes his lead off of third base. Two down here in the top of the second. Harford gets his sign, comes set. The one-two pitch again. Outside, ball two. Looked like a breaking ball, slipped once again. Harford looking like he's having trouble with that breaking ball early on here in this one. The two-two. Here it comes, and it's high ball three, so Barless able to work his way back from a one-two count all the way to a full count. And Chichetto will be off from third. On the pitch, here it comes, the 3-2 outside, ball four. So a great at-bat from Darius Barless as he works all the way back to a walk. So now runners on the corners, and we'll have a pitching visit here for Hartford. Again, it was the second inning in the home opener against Hamilton. We saw Hartford struggle with command. It'll be the center fielder, Ashton Patterson, stepping to the plate, hitting out of the nine hole here tonight. And what a chance for Patterson this would be to score a run from third and maybe more. Harford now set. First pitch to Patterson, strike one down the middle. Runners take their leads. That one dips outside. Ball one. Barless on first. Chichetto on third after his double. Here comes the 1-1 one, one in tight. And 2-1 and one count now on the nine hitter, Patterson. And if you're Hartford, this is the guy you want. Don't want to turn it back over to LaRue at the top of the order. He's on deck. 2-1 pitch from Hartford, swing and a miss from Patterson, 2-2. Two and two. Hartford trying to get out of it. Here's the 2-2 two, two pitch, fouled straight back, and 
right off the broadcast booth this time and down into the seats. Got your hands ready now. We'll do it again, 2-2 two, two. from Harford, swing and a miss, strike three, big strikeout from Jake Harford as he tiptoes out of it in the top of the second, Royals get nothing. And after one and a half, Welland continues to lead 3-0 over Guelph. We'll be back for the bottom half of the inning coming up next. And welcome back inside the ballpark here. Bottom half of the second inning. It'll be Steven Moretto DHing here tonight. He'll lead things off here for the Jackfish. Only one hit out of the DH spot through two games for the Jackfish, and they're looking for more out of that spot and see if they can get it from Moretto here. And Moretto cranks one to left field. That ball sent. Gone! On cue, Moreno sends one out. And the Jackfish extend their lead to 4 nothing as that one squeaks over the left field wall. And he gets the fans on their feet, Steven Moreno. Moreto got a fastball and he didn't miss. So it is debut. Moreto goes yard. And Kyle Thomas struggling here early for Guelph. As Chris Robinson steps into the box, the nine hitter for the Jackfish here tonight. 0 oh 2 in the hole early. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, and it's outside, ball one. Thomas, the pitch down low, two and two, and it looks like they're going to let Thomas continue to go here. Nobody warming or nothing going on down in the Guelph bullpen. The 2-2 pitch from Thomas. Swing and a miss, strike three. So he gets Robinson down swinging. And it'll turn over back to the top of the order as Gio Morello will step in. Morello struck out in the first inning. Still looking to find his groove here early on in the season. No 
Another great crowd on hand here tonight in Welland. Morello steps in. The first pitch to him is high, ball one. The 1-0. Morello slashes one through the hole on the left side. Past the diving shortstop. Morrow and a base hit for Morello. And maybe that gets him going from the top of the order. So here's Brandon Nicholson. Nicholson singled back in the first. Already five hits surrendered here tonight. First pitch to Nicholson bends in for strike one. So Morello takes his lead off first. Already three stolen bags here for the Jackfish in one inning. Morello, off he goes for second. Great jump throw down. In time, got him. The throw was on a hop. But it was just in time for Morello, who went in feet first. And he's chopped down, trying to steal second. And that'll be the second out of the second inning. Pitch to Nicholson. Did he go? Check down. No, he didn't. Two and one now. On the Jackfish right fielder. And that'll be in there for a strike. Two and two, even on the count. Two down here in the bottom of the second. A caught stealing by Ash has helped his struggling pitcher, Thomas. Here comes the 2-2. Nicholson fouls it straight back up into the parking lot. And we'll do the 2-2 again. Thomas's offering, and it's bounced down the third baseline foul. So Nicholson fighting off a few tough pitches to stay alive here in the second. Smybert awaits on deck. He had a base hit back in the first inning. The 2-2 again, and it's popped back up out of play. So Nicholson putting up a real good battle here. Long staring from Thomas. Now gets his sign and delivers. Nicholson sends one to short. Morrow picks it on a bounce, throws over to first. And that'll do it for the bottom half of the second inning. So Morello a base hit, but a caught stealing. And the Jackfish go away quiet in the bottom half of the second. But a bomb from Moretto out of the DH spot gives them a 4-0 lead as we go to the third inning here in Welland. Show your employer how to play. You gotta 
And welcome back inside the ballpark here in Welland. Top of the third about to get underway. The leadoff man, uh, Brandon LaRue, steps into the box for his second half bat of the night. Flew out to center field now. Sends one over Smybert. Couldn't get to it. And a base hit to lead off the top of the third for the Royals. As LaRue first pitch hunting there. And just able to loop it over the lengthy third baseman, Smybert. Here's the left fielder, Ethan Hammond. Batting out of the two hole, out of the stretch is Hartford, ball one. Still nothing doing in the Guelph bullpen. Looks like it'll be Thomas back out there for the third. Hartford, the 1-0 pitch out of the stretch, catches the outside corner. Hammond's not happy with that call as he has a few words with the umpire, but it's back even at one and one. LaRue takes his lead off first. Harford comes set. The 1-1 one, one pitch high and away. Ball two. Gorgeous night for baseball here in Welland. As the sun starts to set. And that 2-1 offering missing again is Harford. And it's a 3-1 count on Hammond. The 3-1 pitch from Hartford, swing and a miss from Hammond, and it's a full count. Something else Hartford had a lot of in the season opener was a lot of full counts. And here's another one. The payoff from Hartford off is the runner, and that one misses ball four. So two on, nobody out here in the top half of the inning for the Royals. And it's another walk for Harford. Harford's third walk already here in the third inning. So runners on first and second. It'll be Connor Morrow, the shortstop now, stepping in the three-hole hitter. Harford out of the stretch. First pitch off speed, swing and a miss, strike one. Checking the runners now. The pitch sent to second. Dupuis with a leaping snag. Back to first, trying to double up Hammond, but he's able to get back to first. What a play by Tyler Dupuis. That ball was ripped right to the right side of him, and he's able to get over with a hop and make the catch. And that's a big play here for the Jackfish. Now one down here in the top of the third. Still runners at first and second. And now Tristan Pompey stepping in. Pompey fouls it straight back to the backstop. Strike one. Pompey, the brother of former Blue Jay Dalton Pompey, who also played for Guelph last season. And that one way outside from Hartford. Ball two. Check that ball one. One and one the count on Pompey. The cleanup man here for Guelph tonight. Hartford takes a look back at second base. Now once again. Now the pitch to Pompey. Swing and a miss. What a hack that was. But he comes up empty. And it's one and two on Pompey. Gene with the snag to second one back to first no not in time Pompey beats it out 
What a play by G not shortstop. Off the short hop, able to grab it. They get one at second, and Dupuis throw just late to first. But two down now, runners at the corners for Guelph. As we'll have another meeting on the mound. Uh, this time, Brian Ezreal trot out, and the whole infield comes in. Pompey at first, LaRue at third. Two down here at the top of the third, and once again, it's Harford trying to tightrope his way out of this inning. He flew through the first inning, had a little trouble in the second, and now trouble once again here in the third. So Jeff Rose comes and breaks things up on the mound. Brian Ezreal trot back to the dugout. And a big spot here for Guelph early on as it's Roberts stepping into the box. The big first baseman with a runner 90 feet away looking to get Guelph on the board. Harford comes set. Out of the stretch once again. Pitches outside ball one. Something that seemed to rile Harford here a little bit this season with runners on. He's been a lot less accurate out of the stretch as that's ball two. When he's got nobody on, he's rolling. But as soon as runners start to get aboard, out of the stretch, he struggles to find that strike zone, which we're seeing here once again, 2-0. and oh. Here comes the 2-0, oh, way outside, not even close, 3-0. and oh, And you wonder what that mound visit was about. Three pitches haven't been close to Roberts, and whether they want it Chichetto or not, is that pitch on the outside corner, strike one, three and one count now on the Guelph first baseman. The 3-1 pitch, and he fouls it back into the parking lot, back to a full count. There's Hartford one pitch away from getting out of this third inning. Fans getting into it here, Hartford. Biggest pitch of the night for him. Coming right here. He comes set. The payoff pitch. Strike three called, and Hartford tight ropes out of it again as he catches Noah Roberts looking to end the top of the third. Jackfish coming up as they lead 4-0 here through two and a half. And welcome back inside the ballpark. Bottom half of the third inning underway. I'm Alec Murray alongside with you here tonight. 
And it's Kyle Thomas back out on the mound for his third inning of work for Guelph. It's James Smybert stepping into the box. He'll take strike one on the outside corner. Smybert a base hit in the first inning. 4 nothing. Jackfish lead early on here over the Guelph Royals as the 0-1 comes in. It dips inside, ball one. Smybert's been hot to start this 2023 season for the Jackfish. The 1-1 count. And Smybert sends it sky high. Catcher looking for it in Ash, but that one's going to find the roof of Welland Stadium and bounce back up into the seats. A 1-2 count on the heavy hitting third baseman. Here it comes. Smybert sends one down the first baseline. Bear ball. That one will roll all the way into to the corner as Smybert cruises into second base and a double to lead things off here in the third for the Jackfish. So here's the backstop, Sam Cocker. Cocker set in the box. Here comes the pitch. And on the outside corner, strike one from Thomas. Smybert at second after the double. The 0 1 pitch and down low, ball one. Big things expected at a number 16 for the Jackfish this season. And the 1 1 count to Cocker inside. He's able to get out of the way, ball two. Thomas gets his sign from Ash. He comes set on the mound, the one-two to Cocker. And Cocker sends one into right field, but lining it up is Tristan Pompey. He'll drift back and make the catch. Tagging from second and into third is Smybert. So here's the shortstop, Luis Jean, a base hit and two RBIs in his first at bat. Jean, another man in scoring position here for him. Smybert, the runner at third. The pitch to Gene, and once again inside as he has to get out of the way of that one. 1-0 one oh on the shortstop. Gene crowds that home plate. And the 1-0. Oh. And Gene sends one up the gut, racing in from center field, not able to make the catch. Smybert had to wait at third, but he'll score easily. Another base hit for Gene, and another RBI, his third tonight. So this middle of the lineup for the Jackfish doing damage here. Early on, still nothing going on in the bullpen for Guelph as Thomas has struggled through two and a few innings here. So it'll be Gene at first. One out here in the third. Gene takes off first pitch. And that throw way out of the line. And it hits Gene on the helmet. Gene gets back up and he'll trot into third. 
An electric player, Luis Jean, goes first to third. And another man 90 feet away. Porcelato, base hit in his first at bat as well, caught stealing. And Porcelato hammers one to left center field. That'll stay in the air. Drifting over the center fielder, tagging from third is Gene. Here's the throw home. No, he's safe. Gene gets under the tag, and the Jackfish continue to pound it on. It's 6 nothing. Welland in the third inning. So a sacrifice fly from Porcelato. Two down in the third. Six nothing Jackfish as Dupuis steps in. Dupuis struck out back in the first inning. He ended that elongated first inning from the Jackfish. Seven batters to the plate they sent. Scored three runs. One zero to Dupuy outside ball two. Moretto lingers on deck. As here's the two zero pitch and Dupuy lofts one. When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind. So top of the fourth inning here in Welland. Jackfish leads 6 nothing. And here's the big DH. As Mike Cicchetto steps in, he'll loop one to second base. Dupuy takes it on a hop. He'll lob it over to first and one pitch, one out here in the fourth inning. Here's the catcher, Evan Ash, grounded out to second base in his first at bat. First pitch from Harford behind the head of Ash. And 1 0. Ash luckily out of the way of that one. As here's the 1 0. That time finding the strike zone and one and one back evening the count is Hartford. Here in his fourth inning of work, Hartford. Did he go? No, he didn't. 
And two and one now on the catcher, Ash. Big swing and a miss from Ash, evening the count at two. Harford unable to get out of the fourth inning in his first start of the season, looking to do it here tonight as that breaking ball bends out of the zone. And it's a full count on Ash. Hits are eight to two in favor of the Jackfish. One error for Guelph. Jackfish still errorless here. Here's the payoff pitch to the catcher, Ash. And strike three called right in there. And Hartford rolling here in the fourth as two down. And here's the third baseman, Darius Barless. Walked in his first at-bat in the second inning. Here comes the delivery from Hartford. That one's high, and outside ball one. The 1-0 from Hartford. That one's sent up the middle, and that'll drop in center field for a base hit. As Morello picks it up, he'll throw it back in, and the Royals have one on here in the fourth inning as Patterson, the nine-hole hitter, steps up to the plate. So Barless has been on base both times here for Guelph. And here's Patterson, the center fielder. Shows bunt, puts a beauty one down the third baseline, unable to grab it is Harford, and now two will be aboard as they flip over the lineup back up to the top as LaRue now will step in. What a beautiful bunt by Patterson and just in the perfect spot in between Hartford and Smybert. So two on, two out here in the fourth. And that'll go down as a base hit for Patterson. Strike one pumped in there by Harford. The 0 1, and that one's in tight, ball one. Six, nothing, Jack Fish lead, top of the fourth. Guelph's been able to get men on base, but they haven't been able to convert as that one's ground ball to Gene at short. He'll flip to Dupuy at second, inning over, and Harford is through four, scoreless. He's scattered three hits, and he's left men stranded. Nobody scored, though, for Guelph. And after three and a half, it's six, nothing, Jack Fish. To the bottom of the fourth we go here at the pond in Welland. Thank you. 
So bottom of the fourth about to get underway. It's Thomas out for his fourth inning of work. Some stirring now down in the Royals bullpen, but for now it's Thomas, and into the box is Moretto. Moretto homered on his first at-bat, sent one over the left field wall. And more out of the DH spot, what manager Brian Esri wanted, and more he got. As the count goes to one and one on Moretto. Thomas comes set the pitch. Moretto lofts one into center field, drifting over his Patterson. He calls off Pompey. He'll make the catch one away here in the bottom of the fourth. So here's the left fielder tonight, Chris Robinson. Robinson, a strikeout victim in his first at-bat. Thomas looking to get through this fourth inning for the Royals as Robinson fouls one off into the parking lot. No one count on Robinson as Thomas to the plate. Outside ball one. The 1-1 one, one pitch inside and just able to get out of the way of that one. Robinson, 2-1. The 2-1 high, 3-1 now on Robinson. The 3-1. And catches the outside of the plate. Full count now on Robinson. Some light warming up now down in the Royal bullpen. Here comes the full count pitch to Robinson. He skies it, and up and out of play will do it again. So it's Sandy Baez down in the bullpen for... Guelph is that one just foul off the bat of Robinson and another full count pitch coming. So the 3-2 once again from Thomas to Robinson to the plate. And he hammers that one into the gap in left field. Looking up is the left fielder. It bounces off the wall. Gliding into second is Robinson with a double. So a double out of the nine hole. Flips the lineup over back to the top in Gio Morello. Morello, one for two here tonight. A single back in the second inning, struck out in the first. Another runner in scoring position for the Jackfish with less than two outs. Thomas hasn't had his stuff here tonight. 
as Morello sends one on the ground to short. Morrow picks it up, holds the runner at second to throw across the diamond to first, and dug out nicely by Roberts, two away. So Morello on the first pitch, grounds out, and here's Brandon Nicholson now. Nicholson, one for two. He grounded out the shortstop back in the second inning. Had a base hit in the first and scored. First pitch in there for strike one. Robinson, decent lead off of second base. Two down here in the fourth. Thomas comes set on the mound. Nicholson, a little dribbler down the third baseline. He's hustling his way to first. He'll make it into third base. And just getting back is Robinson. Now runners on the corners as Thomas couldn't pick that up. Just a little check swing bouncer in front of the plate. Neither Ash or Thomas could get to it. And the Jackfist pressing once again here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. That'll go down as a base hit. Smybert, his second hit of the night here already. Or Nicholson, pardon me. Smybert now in the box. And runner on his way to second. Slides into home. Now runner's on his way home. He'll score. A play executed to perfection by the Jackfish as Robinson comes home to score on the throw down to second. Nicholson on the throw home takes third. And it's crumbling here for Guelph. So seven nothing Jackfish as Smybert fouls one straight back out of play. One one count on Smybert. Here it comes. Smybert loops one into shallow left field. Out goes the shortstop Morrow. He'll make the catch. Inning over, but not until the Jackfish score once again. They extend the lead to 7 nothing. to the fifth inning we go here in Welland. So top of the fifth inning here back in Welland Stadium. It's 7-0 Jackfish over the Guelph Royals. 
Harford back out for his fifth inning as that pitch is sent. And unable to see it as the right fielder, Robinson. It's over his head and drops in, trotting his way into second base and a leadoff. But he's back into the stretch. Runner takes his leadoff second. First pitch in there for strike one. Mora walked back in the first. And he flew out to second base. As that off-speed pitch dips outside, ball one. Ten hits for the Jackfish, five for Guelph. One error for Guelph, none for Wellen. Hammond takes his lead off second. Morrow sends one to the gap in right center field. Drifting over, making the catch is Nicholson. Thought about a slide there, but he stays up and easily makes the catch. So one down, the runner has to stay at second. As Tristan Pompey now steps in. Morrow got a good chunk of it, but not enough. As Nicholson able to glide over and make the, make the grab. Pompey has struck out and flew out here tonight. Harford, long stare in, gets his sign. 1-0 coming to Pompey. And a swing and a miss. 1-1. One one. Pompey takes outside, ball two. Runner in scoring position for the Guelph right fielder. And Pompey sends one on the ground to second base. Easily picked up by Dupuy. He'll toss it to first. And two down here in the top of the fifth as the runner advances to third. And it'll be the first baseman, Noah Roberts. Something the Royals have struggled with here tonight is getting hits with runners in scoring position as pumping in strike one is Harford. Roberts grounded out to first and struck out tonight. Here comes the 0-1. Roberts slashes that one off foul up and out of play. So an quickly 0-2 on Roberts. Harford has his pitch. Here comes the 0-2 outside, not by much. But ball one. Harford trying to get through five scoreless here. Here it comes. The 0-2 grounded on the ground. Smybert comes over, cuts it off, throws to first. In time, five scoreless innings so far for Jake Harford. And what a bounce back start. For Mr. Harford, as we go to the bottom of the fifth, Jackfish still leads 7 0 over Guelph. <laughs> When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. 
we restore your home and your peace of mind. So it'll be Sandy Baez taking over for the Guelph Royals here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Tough line for Kyle Thomas as he goes four innings, giving up seven runs. And it'll be the cleanup man, Sam Cocker, leading things off for the Jackfish. Cocker 0 for 2 so far here tonight. As here's Baez first pitch, it is high ball one. The 1-0 one -oh and Cocker sends it on the ground. Foul down the third baseline. One and one. One inning pitched for Baez here this season. A scoreless inning. He's walked one. And that one draws high, and it's ball two. And Baez steps off, wants to re-go through the signs with his catcher, Ash. Now gets it, the 3-1 on the way, inside, ball four, and Cocker draws the leadoff walk. <laughs> It'll be Luis Jean now stepping in the shortstop. What a night he's had so far. Two for two, two runs scored, three RBIs. So not the start Baez was looking for as Cocker leads off first base. His first pitch into Gene is ball one. Baez comes set on the mound. The 1-0, and he sends it on the ground to short. Nice play, Morrow, throw on to second, gets one, and they're not going to get Gene at first. Too fast, so a fielder's choice. That'll erase the walk from Cocker, but it'll be Gene on first, swapping spots with him. Now one down here in the bottom of the fifth. He gets his lead off first. Here's the pitch out. Oh, they're going to call it strike one. On Porcelato. A base hit back in the first inning. And a sack fly for Porcelato here tonight. As Gene takes his lead off for first. Baez comes set on the mound. Here's the pitch. Porcelato pops it up. High pop-up in foul territory, drifting over the shortstop. Dives! He can't come up with it. What an effort from Morrow. 
It was Morrow and Barless over there. Hammond, the left fielder, came in as well. None of them could make the catch. And Porcelato has another life. 0-2 the count. Some stirring down in the well and bullpen. Here's the pitch. Porcelato swinging a miss. And Gene's going to make his way down to second base. As that pitch got behind the catcher, Ash. But two down now here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Dupuy now stepping in for Wellen as struck out and flew out here tonight. So Gene's in scoring position. He's already scored twice here tonight. Baez is going to step off and re-go through. Baez back on now gets his sign. Here comes the first pitch to Dupuy. It's a breaking ball, and Dupuy has to get out of the way. 1-0 and now on the Jackfish second baseman. Gene takes a big lead off second. The pitch fouled straight back by Dupuy. One and one now the count. Baez trying to get out of this inning unscathed. Baez a long look in. And now steps off once again. He'll reset on the mound. Ash gives him his signs. Now comes set. He's happy with the call. Gene taken off from second. The pitch is in there for strike. And Gene swipes third base. The throw gets by the third baseman. And Gene will trot home. Make it 8 nothing, Jackfish. As Gene scores his third run of the game. What a night for Luis Gene. Count is one and two on Dupuy. Here comes Baez to the plate. Dupuy takes outside, ball two, evening the count. The pitch from Baez. Dupuy fights it off back into the parking lot. And a great at-bat here from Dupuy as he continues to battle with Baez. Baez trying to get out of it. Bottom of the fifth, it's 8 nothing. Jackfish. As here's the pitch, Dupuy again fights it off. And he'll stay alive. So the 2-2 again to Dupuy. And here it is. And Dupuy bounces one to short. Morrow glides over. He got it. Throw on to first. Dug out nicely uh, by Roberts. And that'll retire the side. And the Jackfish get one more. Make it 8 nothing Jackfish as we head to the sixth inning here in Welland.
And welcome back inside the ballpark. Uh, sixth inning about to get underway. New pitcher on the mound for the Jackfish. But let's talk about the start from Jake Harford. What a start for him. What a bounce back as he goes five scoreless for Welland. And exactly what they needed out of him tonight. It'll be Mike Mueller on the mound now for Welland. 4.1 innings already this season. Giving up two hits, a run. Walked one and struck out five. So the Mississauga, Ontario native looks to continue the success on the mound for the Jackfish as Mike Cicchetto steps in. He doubled back in the second inning. And here comes Mueller's first pitch in there for strike one. Jackfish have scored every inning here tonight. Three in the first, one in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth, and one in the fifth. Giving them eight on the night. Another strike poured in by Mueller. Quickly 0-2 on Chichetto. Ball one now. Out of the windup. Here's Mueller. Off speed. Bounce to short. Gene lines it up. He's got it, throw across the diamond to first. And he's able to get Chichetto one down here in the sixth. So here's the catcher, Evan Ash, now stepping up to the box. Good start here in the sixth for Mueller. As he likes to work quickly, and he pours another strike. 0-1 on the Guelph catcher. Reared back for a little extra on that fastball, but it dips outside 1-1. One one. The quick working reliever to the plate, fouled straight back by Ash, and it's 1-2. Talk about pace of play, and Mueller helps that out. He wastes no time on the bump. Almost as soon as the batter steps in, he's ready to roll. Mueller, extra long stare in that time, now gets his sign. Here's the one two pitch, and it tips outside, two and two. Nice bounce back for the Jackfish here tonight so far. Started the season off with losses to Kitchener and Hamilton as that one's in the dirt. And a 2-2 two -two count. Mueller. Deals, and the pitch is outside. Cocker able to block it, but a full count now on Evan Ash, the catcher. Mueller with the payoff, and strike three called as Ash caught looking. Two down here in the sixth. It'll be the third baseman, Darius Barless, now stepping in. As Mueller registers his first strikeout of the night. Bartless has walked and singled tonight. 0-1. Oh and, and a swing and a miss. So Mueller has him in an 0-2 hole. Action once again in the Welland bullpen. Nothing going in Guelph. So we'll see what they do coming out next inning. As the 0-2 pitch dips outside, ball one.
The one-two pitch from Mueller bounced to second base. Dupuy gobbles it up. He'll toss on to first. And a scoreless inning from Mueller. And Guelph goes away quiet here in the top half of the sixth inning. To the bottom half of the sixth we go. Here in Welland, it's the Jackfish 8. And the Royals 0. So a defensive substitution for Guelph as Corey Morrow checks in at third base. He takes over for Barless. Baez remains on the mound for Guelph. In the bottom half of the sixth inning here, Jackfish up to bat. Baez pitch draws high, one and one. Check that 2-0, and oh, the count. And inside, ball three, three and 3-0 oh on Moretto. The 3-0 to Moretto in there, strike one. He was taken all the way. Moretto sent one out back in the second inning. Here's the 3-1 in tight. Ball four. He draws a leadoff walk here to start the bottom half of the sixth inning. So here's Chris Robinson doubled in his last at-bat back in the fourth inning and scored. The pitch is fouled off down the first base side, up onto the berm here at Welland Stadium. 0-1. Oh Moretto gets his lead, and he has to dive back in, a pickoff attempt. Back in safely, though. Moretto gets another good lead off first. Baez. Comes set on the mound. The 0-1 pitch on the way, and it's sent right back up and out of play into the seat. So quickly 0-2 on the nine-hole hitter, Chris Robinson.
Baez gets his sign. Now comes set on the mound. The 0-2 pitch to Robinson. Here it is, and Robinson fights another one off out of play. Starting to get a little chilly out here at the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. Jackfish runner on first. Leadoff walk for Moretto. And Robinson calls time as he steps out. And in game three, this offense, this Jackfish offense, has finally come to life. As here's the pitch from Baez off speed. And it's sent to right field. Pompey can't get there. It drops in front of him. And because he had to hold up to make sure that wasn't caught, Moretto will only be able to make it to second. That'll be another base hit for Robinson. So runners at first and second. As we'll get a pinch hitter for Gio Moretto. So it'll be Ethan Pasco taking the spot of Gio Morello. So the Jackfish with an 8-0 lead trying to get some guys in as Pasco sends one right back to the pitcher. Baez knocks it down, throw on to second, gets one. Pasco too quick, he'll make it to first safely. Royals get one out. But making his way to third is Moretto. So Pasco not wasting any time. First pitch he sees, rips it right up the middle. Good job by Baez to knock it down and calmly make a throw to second. So the one down here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Baez back to work, and Nicholson a swing and a miss. Strike one. Nicholson a couple hits tonight. Jackfish have scored here tonight in every inning as Nicholson has to step out. That pitch in tight. One and one now. Here comes Baez's 1-1 pitch off speed. It dips out of the zone. 2-1 and one now. Runners at the corners for Nicholson. Baez, the pitch. In there for strike two. 2-2. Two and two. A big out here for Baez if he can get it. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Nicholson swing and a miss. And strike three, Baez gets his first strike out. And two down now here in the bottom of the sixth. A massive out for the Royals. But not out of the woods yet as here's James Smybert. The third baseman has singled and doubled tonight. Scored a pair of runs as well. And Smybert, first pitch, lofts one into left field, misreading the play, and he dropped it. One run scores. Smybert glides into second base on the error by the left fielder, Hammond. And another run scores. So we'll see if that goes down as a base hit or not for Smybert. He'll stand at second. Runners at second and third now for the Jackfish. And it'll be Sam Cocker stepping into the batter's box. So if it goes down as a hit, it'll be the second double of the evening for Smybert. 
And it will be an error on the left fielder, Hammond. So Smybert stands at second. Robinson stands at third. Two down here in the bottom of the sixth. And it'll be Sam Cocker after the pitching conference. Baez first pitch, and that one catches the outside of the plate. Strike one on Cocker. A 9 nothing Jackfish lead. The 0-1 to Cocker, and strike two. So Baez quickly up in the count. 0-2 on Cocker, trying to get out of this inning without any more damage being done. A base hit scores two more here for the Jackfish. Cocker still doesn't have a hit tonight. And they're going to say he went around. Yes, the home plate umpire says Cocker went all the way around. No check down to first. And that'll do it for the bottom half of the sixth inning. So Cocker strikes out on three straight pitches. He doesn't agree with the call. Doesn't matter. Jack Fisher up 9 nothing as we head to the seventh inning. When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind. And welcome back to the ballpark. I'm Alec Murray alongside with you tonight. Jackfish, a 9-0 lead. They've scored in every inning here tonight. And it'll be Brett Lawson on the mound, new pitcher for the Jackfish, as he goes to work here in this seventh inning. And his first pitch in there, strike one on Patterson. 
Ashton Patterson playing center field and batting in the nine hole tonight for Guelph. The 0-1 and Patterson sends it straight back. Quickly 0-2. Loss in one inning pitched here this season. Couple strikeouts in that inning. And here comes the 0-2 from Lawson. Bounces on to the plate. And Cocker, a nice job to block it in front of him. One and two now the count. So Pasco stays in for Morello. He'll play center for the remainder of the game. Brett Lawson comes set on the mound. The one-two pitch to Patterson. And he fouls another one off. Back at, of play. So the count remains one and two on Patterson. Lawson, the one-two pitch again. A bouncer to second. Dupuis fields it. Throw on to first. Got him. And another nice play by Dupuis over there at second base as he gets Patterson by a step. And back to the top of the order is Guelph with LaRue. Brando LaRue has flown out to center field and had a base hit back in the third inning. As Lawson pumps in strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Off speed pitch outside. One and one now on the leadoff man, LaRue. Lawson worked a scoreless inning in the home opener against Hamilton. Now showing bunt was LaRue, able to pull it back, two and one. It's been a tough night for Guelph on both sides of the baseball. As Lawson bounces one in. Check down at first base. And the first base umpire says he did not. Three and one now the count on LaRue. Lawson's 3-1 is sent into the gap in left field and drifting over the left fielder Robinson to make the catch. So Robinson, who missed read a ball back a couple innings ago. Able to track that one just fine and glide over and make the grab. Two down now here in the seventh inning as Ethan Hammond steps in. Hammond has struck out, walked, and doubled tonight. Here comes Lawson's pitch. In there, strike one. Lawson's 0-1 to the plate. And a little dribbler out front. Lawson gets off the mound. Throw on to first. Got him in time. And a scoreless inning from Brett Lawson to the bottom half of the seventh we go. And let's stretch it here in Welland. I don't care if the rain is inside. Hey, 
And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh we go. Nine nothing Jackfish as the shortstop Luis Jean leads things off. New pitcher on the mound for Guelph. Yuki Norita takes over for Baez. Sandy Baez goes two innings for Guelph. And Norita looking for the first scoreless inning of the game for Guelph. See if he can get it here. Has to go through four, five, six. Gene Porcelato and Dupuy. As that first pitch in tight, oh and, or 1 and 0. Oh. Taking a look at the out of town scoreboard, Toronto leads Kitchener late in that one, 9 5. And it's Hamilton over Barry, 3 2. In Barry, a close one there. Here it's 9 0 Jackfish. They're on their way to their first win of the season. Narita, two innings pitched this season. Four strikeouts. Hasn't given up a run yet. The 2-0 pitch from Narita. And it's hammered to center field. Patterson comes in. He'll make the grab and one down quickly. As Gene put that one on a rope. Good contact, but sometimes he hits it too hard, and that's exactly what happens there. So here's Mateo Porcelato. So first pitch strike one. Rita's 0-1 pitch. Here it comes inside ball one. One and one now the count on Porcelato. And that pitch draws downstairs. Two and one now. The 2-1 pitch. 
outside ball three, three and one now on Porcelato. Hitting out of the sixth spot here tonight. Has worked himself into the driver's seat. Here comes the three, one. In there, strike two, now a full count. Here comes the payoff. High ball four, good at bat from Porcelato, and he'll trot down to first base. That'll bring up Tyler Dupuy. Made a couple nice plays out in the field here tonight. So Dupuy has a strikeout, 0 for 3 tonight. And that first pitch he sees, he lines it to short, off of first two far, Porcelato double play. So a line drive to the shortstop, Morrow, he makes the catch, heads up play, as Porcelato was wandering off first base. That'll do it for the seventh inning, as the Jackfish, the first scoreless inning, Guelph's put up on them. We'll head to the eighth. It's all Jackfish here in Welland, 9 nothing Welland. And welcome back inside the ballpark. Eighth inning here. Jackfish lead 9-0. I'm Alec Murray with you tonight. And thanks for tuning in to Jackfish Baseball on YouTube and your TV tonight. Jackfish on their way to their first win tonight. After starting the season 0-2, the shortstop Connor Morrow steps in for Guelph. And first pitch he sees, he bounces it through the shifted infield and Dupuy can't get to that one, a base hit. New pitcher on the mound, too, for the Jackfish, Chris Mowato. And his first pitch gets sent into right field, so Guelph. Looking to chip away at this 9-0 Jackfish lead as Tristan Pompey steps in.
Pompey 0 for tonight. Looking for his first hit. Here comes the pitch, and it's down. Ball one. One and one now on Pompey. The one one high and quickly up behind the plate was Cocker. Two and one now. On the younger brother of Blue Jays, former Blue Jays outfielder Dalton Pompey. Moato comes set on the hill and catches the outside corner. Pompey thinks that was outside. Jeff Rose disagrees with him. Two and two now the count. Moato, the 2-2. Two -two. Off speed, and it's a full count. So runner will be in motion. We'll see if Guelph puts it on. Full count. On the way, runner doesn't go anywhere. Ball four, no, strike three called. Pompey was on his way down to first. And the umpire said, hold on, that caught the outside corner. And Mulatto, a big strikeout here in the eighth, one down. Moro takes his lead off first. Mawad, that one just misses. Ball two. It's been a tough night up and down for this Guelph lineup as that one also out of the strike zone. So now three and one. And on the big first baseman, Noah Roberts. Here comes the 3-1 pitch, and he sends a foul back out into the parking lot. Full count. So we'll see what Moato comes with here on a full count. Another full count in this inning. Morrow, the leadoff first, swing and a miss, strike three. Got him again, that same pitch he got him to whiff on earlier in the at-bat. Goes right back to it, a beautiful off-speed pitch. And two down now here in the top half of the eighth inning. Pitch starts in the strike zone and just dips right out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here after the leadoff hit. And first pitch to Cicchetto is in there. Strike one. The 0 1 delivery. Cicchetto lines one into left center field, drifting over the center fielder. He can't get there as Pasco takes it on a bounce. Morrow will stop at second. Cicchetto. His second hit of the night. And that'll bring up Evan Ash. First pitch to Ash, he sends it deep to right field, drifting over the right fielder, dives, did he catch it? He did, oh my, what a catch, Brandon Nicholson. Nicholson, an exclamation mark as Moato waits to come off the field to give his right fielder a high five, a well-deserved one. After seven and a half, it's Jackfish nine, Royal zero. To the bottom half of the eighth we go. When the 
unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind. New pitcher on the mound for Guelph will be Ben Reed, the Hamilton, Ontario native. Just trying to keep this game at par. Nine, nothing Jackfish here, bottom half of the eighth inning. And Reed's first pitch dips outside, ball one at. Stephen Barreto in the batter's box for Welland. Homer back in the second inning. Walked in the sixth, and Moretto fouls that one off sharply down the third baseline. And one and one the count on the DH tonight for Welland. Reed gets his sign and comes set the one one, and off speed pitch bends in, strike two. So the two things that manager Brian Esri told me before the game he wanted to see, he wanted to see strikes thrown from his pitching staff that he has seen, and he wanted to see more production out of this DH spot, which we have also seen. So good looks for the Jackfish here tonight. Here's the pitch, and that ball sent deep to right field, but Pompey will have room as he backs up and makes the catch. One down. So here's Chris Robinson, a couple of hits on his evening. A double in the fourth, a single in the sixth. And Robinson, good production out of the nine hole here for Welland tonight. Seven of the nine Welland starters here tonight have hit. And first pitch, big hack from Robinson, swings right through it, 0-1.
the 0-1. And didn't get the bite he wanted on that off-speed pitch. Stays up in the zone, 1-1. One and one. One away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Reed, the pitch, and fouled back into the parking lot. One and two now the count on the nine-hole hitter, Robinson. Ethan Pasco awaits on deck for the Jackfish. And that one over the head of the second baseman into right field. That's going to split the gap. On his way to second is Robinson. And a stand-up double, his second double of the evening. And he got a hold of that one. Split Patterson and Pompey in the outfield. So now here's Ethan Pasco who pinch hit in the sixth inning for Gio Morello. And another runner in scoring position for the Jackfish. One away. Reed's pitch inside ball one. Niagara Falls native Pasco awaits the second pitch. Here it is. And Pasco bounces one to short. Glove down and the throw on to first. Just gets him in time. The speedster Pasco buzzing down the line, having to hold that second base is Patterson. Or make that Robinson, sorry. And now two away. So Brandon Nicholson, after making that spectacular catch in right field, he'll get the rest of the night off as Hogan Brown announces a pinch hitter for Wellen. So a quick meeting on the mound. Two outs, runner at second. Bottom half of the eighth inning here in Welland. Jackfish on their way to their first win of the season. As Hogan Brown steps in. The first pitch to Brown, and he slices it foul. Oh, and one. Here's the 0 1 to Brown. He takes outside 1 and 1. On deck is James Smybert. The third baseman, he's had a good night. Sam Cocker awaits in the hole. One and one the count on Hogan Brown. And he takes strike two. The one-two pitch from Reed. Here it comes to the plate. And way inside on Brown. And that one skips behind the catcher, Ash. And trotting his way into third base is Robinson. So Robinson 90 feet away from scoring the 10th run of the night for the Jackfish. 
And this is the ball team we've expected to see this season. Expected to be near the top of the division. And here comes the pitch Brown takes high. And it's a full count on Hogan Brown. Two down, full count. Runner will be in motion at third. Here is the payoff pitch. And Brown takes high, ball four. And a great at-bat from Hogan Brown off the bench. Brings up James Smybert, the third baseman. Smybert a hit. Two doubles and a single here tonight. Perfect three for three for Smybert. And here's his first pitch, and it's high and outside, ball one. Reed comes set on the mound, his 1-0 delivery to Smybert. High and outside once again, ball two, 2-0 two now. And we're going to have a pinch runner come in for the Jackfish on third base. So Tyson Gom will come in and pinch run for Robinson at third base. So the Jackfish just trying to get their guys into this game. Here's the pitch to Smybert. Down and 3-0 and oh on Smybert. So we'll see if he has a green light here. 3-0 pitch on the way. And he's taking all the way. But, and it's in there for a strike. So 3-1 now on Smybert. Runners at the corners for Welland. Here's Reed's delivery. Smybert cracks one to center field. Right at the center fielder, he's able to drift back is Patterson and make the catch. Looks like he misread it at first, but was able to get back and make the grab. After eight innings, it's well in nine, Guelph zero. Ninth inning we come here in Wellen. When the unexpected happens, who can you call to guide you from crisis to calm? The trusted experts at Service Master Restore are ready when you need us. We'll be there for you every step of the way. Service Master Restore. We restore your home and your peace of mind.
after he pinch hit for Nicholson. Ninth inning we go, top of the ninth. Guelph, last call for them. Down nine, nothing here in Wellen. Chris Moato trying to finish this one off for the Jackfish and get them in the win column for the first time this season. So Corey Morrow will get his first at bat after being a defensive substitution. Moato's pitch, Morrow swinging a miss, strike one. Morrow's able to take that one downstairs. Ball one, one and one. And Morrow on a ground to second. Nice play by Dupuis, but he throws it over the head of the first baseman. Cocker was backing it up. That was Greg Marco, the catcher now for Wellen. So Marco was there to back it up. Nonetheless, Moro was able to reach. Oh, and that one hits. The batter looked like it came in tight, got him on the upper shoulder. So Mowado has allowed the first two Royals to reach here in the top of the ninth. As Patterson walks down to first base, visibly in pain. But it'll be two on, nobody out here in the ninth for the Royals. Nobody warming in the Jackfish bullpen. It's going to be Mowato's game to finish. As here's Brando LaRue. And it looks like we're going to get a pinch runner here for Guelph. So a pinch runner for Guelph after Patterson got nailed with the first pitch he saw. So he'll go off in pain. It'll be Brendan Keyes pinch running for the Royals. So here's the pitch. That one sent deep to right center field. And going back, unable to make the catch. And it's over the head. One runner scores, and it's going to be a double for LaRue. And Guelph is on the board. It's now 9-1, Jackfish. So that was Hogan Brown, newly inserted as he pinch hit for Nicholson. Couldn't track that ball down. So now runners at second and third for Guelph. Still nobody out here in the ninth inning. And it's 9-1 now. As the shortstop, Morrow now steps into the batter's box. Moato pumps in strike one. Now some action slowly over there in the Jackfish bullpen it looks like. Hoping Mowato can get through this ninth inning. Nine runs on 12 hits and one error for the Jackfish here tonight. Eight hits, three errors, and one run for the Royals. Here's Mowato's 0-2 pitch. Just outside as he was looking for that outside part of the plate. Just missed. 
one and two now. Here's Moato's one two to the plate, off speed, and it's bounced to second base. Dupuil make the throw on to first. One runner does score. But the out is made. Now one down here in the ninth. So it's now a 9-2 lead. Jack Fish will give up the run to take the out. And here's Morrow. Moato's pitch dips inside, ball one. And Morrow will send one into the gap in left center field. That gets down. One run will score. Morrow rounds first. He'll trot into second base. And it's now a 9-3 game. So Guelph stringing together a few hits in a row here. And with one out in the ninth, they find themselves down six. So here's Pompey as he takes the first pitch and grounds it foul. Strike one. Tough night for Pompey at the plate. Has a runner in scoring position in Morrow. Here's the pitch and a little check swing foul. Quickly 0-2 on Pompey. So Chris Moato, who had a great eighth inning, now struggling here in the ninth, just trying to get it done as an off-speed pitch gets Pompey swinging as he strikes out for the third time here tonight. Now two away in the ninth. Noah Roberts now steps in. Last hope for Guelph as Moato has settled down a little bit now. Two down in the top of the ninth. Jackfish looking for their first win of the season. Moato comes set. Here's his pitch high and ball one. Runner at second is more of the shortstop. Here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss. 1 and 1 now on Roberts. <laughs> 1 1 dips outside. 2 and 1. Moato's 2-1 in there, strike two, and Guelph's down to their last strike. Fans on their feet here at the pond as they get ready to celebrate Wellen's first win of the season. A ground ball past the pitcher to second. Dupuy bobbles it, the throw on to first, not in time. And we continue. So you got to give props to the Guelph Royals here. They've not given up in this ninth inning. Down 9 nothing. Now it's down 9-3. Runners at the corners for Guelph. As maybe their best hitter tonight, Chichetto, steps into the box. Moretto needs one more out here. Chichetto sends a... Shot down the line in left field. That'll score at Morrow. Chichetto chugging his way into second base. And 9-4 now as Chichetto his second double of the game. And he jumps all over the first pitch.
So here's Evan Ash now, and what an inning from the Guelph Royals. 9-4. 11 hits now on the night for them. Two men on, runners at second and third. As Guelph has batted around here in the ninth. Moretto just trying to get one out and secure the win for his team. Here comes the pitch. It's down low, 2-0. and oh. And Moretto's going to take some time as he steps off the back of the mound. And he's going to reset. The last thing the Jackfish want to do is have to bring in or use another one of their relievers. And you got to wonder if Ash is able to get a hit here and cash two more. And that's exactly what he's going to do as he lines one into left center field. That'll score two. It's now a 9-6 game, and Moretto's given up a six spot here in the ninth. Oh, my. Guelph coming into this inning down 9 nothing have put together some good quality at bats, made some good contact. And we have ourselves a ball game here, two down in the ninth. Wellens needed one out for the last three batters, haven't been able to retire any of them. And Corey Morrow for the second time in this inning will step up to the plate. Moreto delivers, Morrow fouls it back. Nine six, a six spot for the Royals here in the ninth. What a comeback it would be. As that one is low, ball one. One and one the count on Morrow. And that one on the ground to second. What a grab by Dupuis. Throw on to first ball game. A sigh of relief from the Jackfish faithful as Dupuis makes a beautiful play at second base to record out number three. That'll do it tonight. Jackfish are in the win column. A 9-6 win over the Guelph Royals. Not how they wanted to end it, but nonetheless, a W in the win column for the Jackfish here tonight on home turf. Next game goes Saturday for the Jackfish. Have a great night, everybody. For Alec Murray, myself, and everybody else here in Welland, good night.